lot of the uh, problems from the past. He's got a very good staff. He's got a good board. Good board. That's what I wanted to say. Now call this workshop meeting of the city council to order. Uh, tonight you have a copy of the proposed budget in front of you. And this will entail budget further budget discussions, and I will entertain a motion to adopt this time. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Is there any comments? Hearing none. All in favor, six five. I say aye. 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 All opposed. All right. Dr. Whitter, I'm going to turn it over to you at this time to continue with our budget discussions. Mayor, members of the council, good evening. We appreciate you joining us again tonight to work on your budget for the coming year. At the last meeting a week ago, there were some budget notes. Uh, we forwarded those to you, and I want to make sure that you are, are comfortable with the responses. One of the questions came up with uh, that, that came up at the last meeting was how the Powell Bill fund balance was actually created. I may have misled you a little. It wasn't intentional. Uh, the way that the Powell Bill fund balance is created is by the, the staggering of bid documents. Now, we, we try not to go a full year without paving streets, but there is always an opinion of probable cost that creates the money that goes into the budget. And then there is the actual bid number. And when that bid number is lower, it creates a variance or money that is put into the fund balance. Uh, also, by sometimes bidding two years at one time, we can get better bids. The other thing that you asked for among the six or seven items you asked for was a listing of all of the city's fund balances. And we do have a number of fund balances. You have a fund balance for the general fund, for the water and sewer, for solid waste, for stormwater, for fleet maintenance, for city hall maintenance, for ITS, your uh, IT system, video media, and then self-insurance. And note 15 gave you the fund balances in all of those. I would remind uh, the listening audience, because I know that you're aware of this, we do not try to intermingle the funds from water and sewer into the general fund. We do not intermingle uh, the funds from self-insurance into one place because we consider those funds to be, if I may use the term, sacred, and therefore they're accounted for very differently in the way that we uh, keep our records. But you can see on note 15 the, the total fund balances, and of course the most important thing in that is the unrestricted or unassigned because you may have a large fund balance, but if it's not liquid, meaning money, then that's not spendable. That's an obligation that, that you already have either through assets or through uh, some other form where it is restricted. Anybody have any questions on those uh, notes that we sent out last time? Okay. What we'd like to do tonight uh, is go to the department issues. We have been through a series of budget workshops. You will have your public hearing uh, one week away on uh, May the 5th. Public hearing will be at 7 o'clock. We certainly invite the public to come. We hope that after this evening we will be in a position to potentially adopt the budget either on the 5th or the 19th. If we're not, then we will continue workshops as you feel are appropriate just as so long as we have it adopted no later than June the 30th. 